Our graduation project mainly was focused on uh, reducing the risks of uh, floods. Our main is to mitigate the impact of the floods uh, in the construction project. Because we knew the impact of this risk. Uh, for example, in neighboring countries like Libya, in one flood, 20,000 died and 10,000 went missing. We studied uh, Egypt and we found that we have a lot of flood prone areas in Egypt like the Upper Egypt and the Alexandria. Uh, so we need to start to implement our idea and do more research about it in order to avoid any uh, risks that may happen to Egypt. We actually found that 42% of the natural uh, disasters are caused by floods. That's why we focused on uh, mitigating uh, floods. As far as I know, uh, no one touched upon floods earlier. In addition to the f being the first team that incorporated data-driven modeling into their uh, Thesis 1 project, uh, to the best of our knowledge, we were pioneers in that. We made a user interface that could uh, take simple inputs of the location of the building and its size to give you the uh, critical waterproofing height to ensure effectiveness of our idea. Our main uh, aim was to design a structural building that is flood resilient, which means that it can uh, stand out uh, in front of any flood and uh, mitigate the risk. It also, we take it to a further level that the, the building is fully functional while there is a flood surrounding it. And also we try to uh, be more sustainable. So one of our techniques was, was uh, wet proofing techniques, which stores the water of the flood in order that we can reuse it again. My team was consisting of six, uh, now we can call them young, brilliant engineers. We uh, have actually successfully published our uh, research so we published part of it and we're definitely planning to take it further and build even uh, further research uh, on our project.